So one of the big selling points of the building was um, science on display. So the building was really designed with lots of space and glass. So we could really showcase all the fantastic science and research that is going on at LMU. We really wanted to kind of break down the silos of everything being organized by department. A big goal was to sort of foster interdisciplinary research. So you have faculty from different departments who are now sitting, sitting next to each other and near each other, and they will share equipment, share research spaces, to really foster this interdisciplinary research. The Life Science Building features a number of different types of learning spaces. First, the auditorium, which is going to be the premier event space on campus. It seats close to 300 people and will have state-of-the-art projection and audio capabilities. In addition, there are 19 AV-equipped teaching labs, which allow faculty to have their class and have the students conduct their research in the same space. These classrooms feature wireless projection capability, so students will be able to present their work from anywhere within the room. A faculty member can really involve students in the teaching process by calling on them and showing their work in real time. So in the Human Performance Laboratory, we teach the Exercise Physiology Laboratory courses. Our students learn by doing, so they have a lot of hands-on experience in that laboratory. All of the labs are um, very large, open spaces with state-of-the-art equipment. They've been specifically designed for an optimal learning environment. I teach a course called Tropical Ecology that's travel embedded. The technology in hand classroom is going to give us a space where we can uh, interact virtually with a classroom at the Autonomous University of Aguascalientes. Students in LMU will be able to direct questions to a speaker or a guest lecturer from Mexico and they will be able to stay in their seat and ask a question and the professor in Mexico will be able to answer which is going to be fantastic uh, exchange of ideas. It's really going to support a variety of different learning styles. It has flexible furniture, it has six student collaboration stations so that students can work in a small group with a monitor. The faculty member can project whatever the students were working on to the front of the room and share that work with the class. My favorite thing about the, the room really is there's so much potential and, and we're just not even sure what what the future is going to be like. So it was really important for us to design something that was flexible to allow for you know whatever faculty member sort of wants to do. The power of the internet lies in its ability to democratize the exchange of information. Uh, all the bells and whistles in this technology enhanced room are really going to allow us to learn how to exchange research data. And by learning how to do this in this classroom, students are really learning how to democratize science.